Yeah. Yes, Tony. I was saying how great you are. I was hmm. saying how great you are, and there's and it's and it's true because you are great. You're um really 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 decent guy as well with a actually like you know really nice big heart in you. So you're a really nice fella, and um and it's and it's cool because you know what you do. You try and help people all the time, and uh, that's really fantastic. And it's really great then that you decided that um to do a show about you know just kind of tips that you've learned about um that you've learned over the years in terms of like you know financial independence and stuff like that to help people and why not fantastic idea and it's a pleasure and an honor and uh, and all of that good stuff to be here with you to do this today tony so it's great it's fantastic um and i'm and i'm happy to talk about whatever you want to talk about all right uh, well it's, I mean, me and you had a, a few minutes just before the before obviously this stream where we were having an idea about you know what we're going to be saying and whatnot. But um, uh, yeah, I, I just think that if we just uh, go with the flow, because every conversation that we've ever had really has gone gone quite well, and we've just kind of gone and as the ebbs and flows of the energy kind of goes, we kind of go with it, and it, it always works out quite well. So I think if we yeah, just man. wing it and enjoy each other's company and. The family. I mean, we've got everyone on here now. We've got um, uh, top of the, Ronaldo's in here. We've got Katie. We've got Christy. We've got City Babes, uh, Jiu Jitsu guy Kim. Everyone's in. Bad Mama, Apple. Uh, so yeah, we've got we've got everybody in and, and Kim. Everybody and anybody who I've not mentioned there. Ot. Um, yeah, we're, we're all the family. You know, it's everyone who's on the Discord. So everyone pretty knows us anyway. But yeah, specifically, what I wanted to do the um, the chat with today with you was that. Um, I thought we could just give the tips that we've picked up along the way that have kind of given us the ability to become self-reliant, independent traders or just self-reliant, independent personalities and, and manage to somehow come away from the financial system <laughs> where we're dependent on society to keep us going, um, which is so easy to fall into the trap because... Uh, let's face it, they make it difficult for us. Forms are difficult to fill in, you know, telephone calls, you try and get in touch with the council or the, the governmental uh, organisations that you're on the phone for 45 minutes an hour and then the phone goes dead or, you know, people don't get back to you. <laughs> There's loads of stuff and, and, and it becomes difficult. So what you end up doing is just giving up. It's just really easy and just hoping for a quick, well, yeah. get quick, rich scheme and kind of, we end up here in this land of um, either trading, these short squeezes, you know, particularly with AMC and Jimmy that we're obviously all in now, um, and on the hope that this is just going to make us rich really quickly, um, just because of the difficulty of the, 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 the system that we're living in. And I managed to come away from it at an early age, as where I didn't need to be there. And the tips that I learned along the way, I wanted to share with people. And I felt that having you on the uh, on the channel would enable me to have a few more uh, viewers so that I could give those tips so that it would be further reaching. Um, and I know Good you've one. got your own tips as well. So, yeah. Well, it's just like you say there, um, society t seems to be that it works slightly against you from, from, from the point of view of like, you know, that example there that forms are hard to fill out what a perfect example that is i mean it's so true right and i think that that's um i'm a fairly reasonably smart guy and i just can't stand it and i find it frustrating and they, and it seems as if there's trick questions in there mm -hmm. so that when you do eventually submit it that they'll be able to return it back out to you yeah. and yeah. kick out kick the can down the road another 28 days and another 28 days as you have to like fill in the form and get the corresponding thing um, right or whatever it happens to be and 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 that ties together so well with this idea which is that um society kind of teaches us slightly the wrong way to become self-reliant self you know independent um financially independent especially because so much of the way the world works is geared towards things that don't actually really enable you to strike out on your own um you know easy example of it is from trading where you kind of grow up throughout life thinking that the news is important um and then you go into the trading world and well the news is obviously important and it provides great context and understanding of what's actually going on in the world etc cetera, etc cetera. so often the stock markets it's that have already responded to that news mm -hmm. by the time that you're actually reading it but a new person into the markets thinks this is great i'll read the news and then i'll take the trade and then that's of course when you eventually learn that 
um, saying from the trading world of, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news mm -hmm. is, is, is true, you know, but how would you do that? And how do you find the rumors, etc.? And just like, that's not, the, that's not the sort of thing that, that, that society teaches you to do. And says society kind of teaches you to be kind of dependent on um, hearsay, secondhand information, and just kind of, you know, going along with the crowd. And as like Warren Buffett says, you know, or um, I don't actually personally like quoting Warren Buffett because I don't, I, whatever. But mm -hmm. as it happens, what he says is, you know, not follow the crowd. Yeah. And how do you do that in a world which educates you to follow the crowd? Yeah. Uh, it's very, very difficult. Yeah. So things like this, just chatting with a friend who is, you know, of that mindset already mind where they're not it, yeah. going with the crowd is maybe it's sort of thing that is the context, you know, and in your in your life that you would need to have that kind of um, uh, confidence, maybe to, to, to do some of these even and that the thing about it is as well, it's stuff that Tony wants to talk about today is is the sort of thing that anybody can do. You, it's not like you need to be some r radical right. renegade, really, you can just do everything that you're doing now, anyway, but in a slightly better way, and that will set you up to have more options and That's be right. able to make better decisions yeah. more down the line. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't Absolutely. agree more. That was, that's, um, that is, yeah, bang on, uh, bang on. The, uh, as you were talking there, I was thinking to myself about, uh, you know, we, we leave, the, th the thing is, is most of our audience is in the States in America and we're obviously in the UK, you being in Scotland and me being in the, in the, in the center of England. Uh, in order for us to have that, um, uh, to be able to help the people in the in the in the states and also in Europe and other countries and things, they've all got different laws. They've all got different different newspapers, different news channels and things. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, when we leave school, we want to read the Sun newspaper or whatever uh, instead of the Financial Times. Uh, but I'm thinking to myself, if I say that, then people in America they don't have the Sun because the Sun's a UK newspaper, and I don't know if they have the Financial Times. Probably do. Um, but uh, yeah, things are different. And I know that when I was uh, looking into GME and AMC, uh, people were asking me about certain tax forms that they had to fill in or whatever, and asking me the questions. And I'm like, I don't know. I've never heard of these. Uh, you know, I've never heard of these uh, organisational uh, tax uh, uh, forms and things. And it's something that I had to kind of learn. So most of the stuff that I'm going to talk about today or one of the a few of the things that i want to talk about certainly work in the uk and will be gold nuggets of uh, information um i'm hoping that there'll be something that you guys will be able to listen to about what i'm about to say and say yeah well he's talking about that in the uk but that's also the same in america uh, i'll give you an example in yeah the i UK, think we've got things I called cfds where in america you've got things called options so you, you know they're both very similar things but they're just called different names but you'll have to kind of fill in the gaps as you go. Sorry, Rocky, go on. Yeah, no, but I think that the, there's a, that big, big, big t life tip, really, that you got there with regards to your where you, where you, how you kind of arrange your own spending mm -hmm. and therefore build up your credit score is pretty good tip for America as well, as yeah. far as I'm aware of the... And, like, and you might as well talk about that with people for a while because it's the sort of thing that is a, it's a simple tip Sure, a lot of people might already know it, but it's a simple tip that when if you don't know it and then you hear about it afterwards, you think, yeah, that's the way it works. Yeah. But you don't but you don't know that that's the way it works beforehand because society kind of teaches you that credit um, cards yes. are for people who, who almost plan on ruining their own lives. Yeah. Like, like, I'm going to get this credit card. I'm going to spend it all on lipstick and, and a new car. Mm. And, and then I'm going to and then I'm not going to pay the bill and I'm going to go to debt. And they're going to come and reclaim everything from me. That's kind of the story we get told about credit cards. Mm. Um, and then you end up, you know, being responsible. Like, you know, so you get taught by society to be really responsible and therefore to only spend what you've got, etc. Whereas there's kind of a slightly different mindset that you can have yeah. with it that you were talking to me about before we kicked off the show. Yeah. OK, okay. Um, cool. I'll, I'll just uh, jump, jump into, into the, the chat, chat quickly just to uh, make sure everything's OK, okay because we were going into it about 10 minutes ago and we found out they couldn't no one could hear us there's a lot of people talking in there man wow what do you do, do you go to the top if i go to the top it's going to take me 15 20 minutes to go through everybody so anybody that's put in chats 
low where it is that I'm about to read. Uh, apologies for uh, missing you. Um, uh, okay, so I'm going to start reading from... Um, I'm just going to start reading from something local because that, that time is getting difficult. Um, let's find something, okay. Um, I'm not a cat, says uh, to about Christy Kelly. And is that on? Me too, but I'm... Uh, it's not international. Good question, though. I'm interested to hear Rock, Rocky. Tony and Rocky quite answered. Uh, but, 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 in a sec. I'm giving him a wig. That's good. Lipstick. <laughs> That's a lot of lipstick, City Babe says. Well, that, that might be the else. question that came in. Sounds that great. that may be the question that came in with regards to what's your greatest bit of advice for trading successfully. And sure, we can talk about that. We'll talk about that just after we chat about the, the credit card stuff yeah, and okay. whatever. Okay. okay. Um, somebody's, uh, I think I've just heard a, a ching ching. I think Tabitha has just subscribed. That's very good. Thank you very much, Tabitha. Tabitha Tabaku. I think you will end up going in on the credits when I roll them. And um, yeah, I'm not a cat. Should have had that last yes last stream. Uh, but I went to roll the credits and it was too late. I already pressed end. <laughs> so that was a sorry, mate. Okay, so let's go into this. So those will be all day. And I want to give you guys some um, some nuggets for today. And one of the things that uh, it was Rocky was just going into there. Credit cards. My granddad, my mum, my older brother, my aunties and my uncles. When I turned 18, which is in the UK. And I got my first credit card. I think it was with Barclay Card, and it was a credit limit of about five hundred pound, which back then was fairly, fairly good amount. Probably about two thousand worth now. And uh, they're all saying how bad it was. And sure enough, for me as a kid, uh, it was bad. You know, I got to spending <laughs> it all really quickly, and realising I had five hundred pound left to um, to have to pay back. Oh dear! I also got a little woods catalogue. Um, which is a big fat catalogue full of anything that you can buy. And I was like, oh, I have a shaver, Philip shaver, which I've still got today, by the way. Let's turn the phone on. Uh, someone's at the door, apparently. Um, yeah, so I've got a Philip shaver, which I've still got today, and some other bits and whatever. So, yeah, you start getting what they call credit, okay? And uh, it was it was pretty rough. Because I was inexperienced at the time, I was only 18, and this was some new thing where I can have anything that I want, and it didn't cost me anything until the bill came in. And then I realised very quickly uh, that this is not good. And mum, nan, and my granddad, and my brothers, and my mum, and my aunties and uncles were all right. However, as time went on, I needed a mortgage. Um, so I went to the mortgage company. Can I have a mortgage, please? No. Why not? Well, you've got this credit card that's maxed out. You owe little woods a load of money. You've got my car finance that you owe all this money on, and you're only earning this much money. So what do I do? Well, you need to pay your credit card off. You need to pay it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you end up, you end up starting to learn quite quickly on. Um, yes, mate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I uh, realised quickly that it wasn't good for me to have all this credit. But then uh, I'd done it all. And I went back, I paid it all off, went back to the mortgage company and said, can I have a mortgage now? No. Why not? Well, your credit score's bad. What do you mean it's bad? Well, when you had Little Woods, you missed a load of payments. When you had your credit card, you missed a load of payments. And I said, yeah, that was two years ago. Was, yeah, it's no good. You you need five years of, of good, clean credit. So come back in like three years and then we'll, we'll be able to go ahead but stop missing payments okay don't miss any more payments that hurt that felt really that was a real punch in the gut because uh, my credit score was low you're being denied something huh yeah yeah, yeah. i mean it's, it's 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 you get denied something based off of something you didn't realize when you were younger yes. what the impact would be because society doesn't teach you they just tell you no. to be scared of, scared of these things and and not and not you know not what how to do things properly mm. if somebody had told you when you were 18 mate like what to do you'd have been you'd have been much better i myself was the same i mean i i to, and jamie as well like back when we were young guys you know you get any sort of credit the first thing you want to do is max it out <laughs> and um <laughs> and and then just kind of you know deal with the consequences later um yeah but then a few years down the road you find out well that's actually that's actually you know holding you back in this way in this way you got to go and pay those things off and then yeah, wait some rough. more years until yeah but then when you do get past that 
and you start getting a decent you, you start building up it builds up very quickly um the the credit score mm. it, it does but, but then it, it, what ended up happening is i got my good i got my everything all cleared off and it was a long time now i'm going back to the mortgage advisor i, I closed my barclay card down i closed my little woods can uh, ca- uh, catalog down and um my finance on my car was paid off and the rest of it and when i went back to the mortgage advisor and said what's going on um, can I have a mortgage now? He says, he says, your you, you, your credit rating. Well, I haven't got anything bad on your credit rating because you've got no credit at a page you go phone. Um, they've got nothing to score you on. So I said, well, what do I need to do? He says, get a credit card. And what? That was what caused me the problems in the first place. He says, no, you need a credit card, and then we can start building it up. What is, what is this company that starts looking into you and they look at? They're called Equifax. Equifax. Who's this Equifax? Who's Equifax? Well, they're 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 the um, enemy of of Experian. There's two of them. Two of them. There's these two organisations that know everything about me. Well, can I see what they can see? Yeah, it'll cost you about three quid in the post. Well, I want to know. I want to know. So then I wrote to Equifax and Experian with a three pound check in both of the envelopes, sent it off. And two weeks later, they both came in, and there it was, in black and white, five years of history of every single payment and all of the people that I owed money to. And I'm like, wow. But it was all green, and it all looked really good. Um, but this guy said, you need a credit card. Okay, And I'm like, why? Because every time that you make a payment, it shows up as a, as a, as a zero on your credit file, and it shows up that you maxed... Uh, or you know where your balance was that month and then when you paid it off it went back down to zero right so it means that anybody that's evaluating you for credit like a mortgage company or when you're gonna get a loan then it means your loan interest rates become a lot lower and it also means that you'll be able to get a mortgage with lower interest rates which means that your monthly outgoings is a lot lower okay so now we're starting to get somewhere and i'm starting to understand things so the best thing to do i concluded was every time that I wanted to buy something, instead of using my debit card, and a debit card in the UK is probably the same in America, but a debit card in the UK is a debit card. It means that it debits your account. Whereas a credit card, what it does is it builds your credit. It's a credit card. So if you go to the petrol station, you fill up your petrol, or you get your diesel or whatever, you fill up your fuel, and you pay on your credit card, credit card. And what you do is you transfer the money that it's just cost you, let's say it's 100 bucks to fill your tank, transfer it over to a savings account, like on your app, on your mobile phone app, straight away, 100 quid into your savings account. Then at the end of the month, you can pay your credit card off 100% of your balance. And then all of a sudden, your credit card company says, wow, this guy can afford monthly repayments of three four five a thousand bucks whatever your whatever your um whatever your uh, financial uh, status allows it if you're a millionaire then it might be 25 grand a month or something if you're struggling in life then it might only be 200 pound a month limit or something. whatever it is it will all apply to you regardless of the size right and um so you do that and then it builds up your credit card limits so then instead of being able to have a credit card limit of 500 pound it'll be two grand or two grand it'll be 25 grand or whatever and that goes on but it gets even better than that is that if you go to what we've got in the uk is a shop called curry's if you go to curry's and you buy a television or a freezer anything you buy anything from anywhere tesco whatever and you buy it on your credit card then your credit card company will insure that object if it's defaulted, if it's not fit for purpose, there's loads of different areas that your credit card and Visa, the company Visa, will come together and insure you. Whereas if you buy it on a debit card, you might as well be giving them cash. Soldiers seen, you're a lot more difficult to get your money back. So if you go and buy a car and you pay cash, then you're never getting that cash back very very unlikely but if you pay on your credit card then you can go to your credit card company and therefore the liability you have no liability on that purchase the liability is solely with the credit card company and there have been many times where i've um, bought something um, and the credit card company has reimbursed me because i wasn't happy with the product so 
you're much better buying things on your credit card, which society say, if you own a credit card, it's bad. And that's just one small example in life where we leave school and we're taught things um, that are wrong. You know, they, they teach you that credit cards are bad, but there's so many benefits of using a credit card, but you have to be... the. And this is where it's like another topic that really I want to talk about today, which is personality types. We're all different. We've all got different kind of personality types that fit in different boxes. But if you're not the personality type that can turn around and make sure that your credit card is paid back in full each month, um, or at least most of it's been paid back, um, then uh, maybe credit cards really are a bad thing. But it's something that if you can't do, then you need to learn it because it really, really will help you get mortgage. It will help you get loans. It will help you get other credit cards. But everything at a much reduced cost. So instead of having a mortgage at a 5% APR fixed, it will be down at 2.1% APR fixed, etc., which could save you hundreds a month. So, yeah. Yep. That's and as well, thing. just just like just, just as, as well kind of planning that out in a sense that if you're looking at your own uh, expenditure and you think that you've got however many hundreds of pounds or dollars free every month um, currently and you're already operating on a credit basis, if you're able to kind of keep that as low as possible, your, your, um, you know, your outgoings via credit and build up your credit score, then eventually you'll start kind of getting this sort of bonus free money. So that thing with the mortgage is, is amazing because if you're on a 5% instead of a 2%, that could be the difference of, of what you would otherwise have been spending just a year or two before Absolutely. extra. So if you can kind of think, well, um, it's not so much necessarily where you are right now. It's kind of about where you want to be in six months or a year or 18 months or two years down the road. And if you, if you can think, well, Hey, I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to really kind of work towards getting this, getting a, again, you know, refinancing and bringing down my expenditure over there mm -hmm. on the basis of having had a good credit rating elsewhere in the meantime, then that can set you up. And, and it's the sort of thing that um, whether or not you're on a, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're at the lower end of the scale and you're um, just, you know, on the breadline trying to get by, that can be a life changing piece of information, you know, but if you're on the, because, because for, for a lot of people, a couple hundred quid a month is the difference you know that is the difference is. and then for for people at the, at, the, up at the other end of the scale you know, you're talking about what could effectively be life-changing amounts of money for people yeah, for and you don't know people. what's going to happen down the line mm -hmm. it's just like just just having that there and building up that security is going to be serving you so well down the line when you think back you know it's like um because there are times in your life when you look back and you think um, well, it might sound preposterous to some people, but you look back and you think, I could really do with a hundred grand right now. Mm. Um, that's actually a legitimate thing that happens, you know? Um, and obviously to the breadline person, it doesn't, you think, well, how could that be? But you obviously, you kind of want to plan to be in the position where if you ever are asking yourself, like, what you could do with that you're able to kind of draw on on those things appropriately at the time instead of kind of living on it now to make your life just that little bit better which is one of the things that i find is kind of you know important as well to think about is that uh, a lot of people make these types of decisions we're all the same we all do it i do it too i even to this day i do it now um where you think to yourself right and i i really ought to not be paying that thing but um but I'm going to just pay it. I'm just going to do it this month. And then next month I'll, I'll cancel it, you know? Um, and it might be a, a phone bill. Yeah. It might be a subscription to, to TV show that you don't really watch, you know, or a sports package, you, you know, you, you, where you used to watch it every weekend with your mates and you've still got it now. And a bit of you kind of longs for that time when you'd watch it with your mates. So you keep the subscription hoping that they'll come around and watch it with you. Mm -hmm. And then you watch it once every three months and you're paying out 60 quid a month for the thing. You know, that sort of thing happens, right? Yeah. It happens to all of us all the time. In fact, it's probably all of us watching at the minute have got at least one thing that they pay out every month, which they really shouldn't be doing. And then, and then you add in things like, well, what if you went to the gas station, which is, you know, on your way back from work? Um, instead of instead of waiting till the weekend and thinking oh, I can't be bothered and just going to the one around the corner where you mm. where it costs you a, a tiny wee bit more, but you're doing it to yourself because you think to yourself I really can't be bothered 
um thinking like that you know life's tough enough as it is yeah. i'll just go with that so then then maybe when you're in there as well you buy a pack of crisps and a bar of chocolate and a can of drink and whatever else and you think nothing of it because life's hard enough as it is and that's true and i'm not going to argue that aspect of things because it's true and we all need these edge things just to make it through we all need it from time to time we all need that cup of coffee that you know technically we don't need and um, we all do actually need these things from time to time that's the way that that's actually a true part of the world but if you're able to kind of identify these things early enough and chop one or two three four out um, and make decisions where you're not really necessarily being thrifty um, you're just being sensible and uh, and and then over the course of that month or that two months or whatever you might have saved yourself like quite a lot of money and you know it already yourself so this is one of these things it's not really a piece of advice it's not really a tip it's this it's a, it's it's if we were kind of talking about this before the show started and it's so true you said about the about the guy that owns a yacht or whatever and it's like everybody that owns a boat knows that they're just black holes for money maybe not mm-hmm. maybe not maybe not necessarily as bad as 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 cars generally are every car that's worth under a hundred grand is is probably just going to bleed money from your account it's only it's only certain cars that actually accrue value you know and uh, most of them lose half their money half their value as soon as you drive it off the forecourt and mm-hmm. um, what with that and everything else i mean you buy a car 20 percent of it gets knocked off in that just straight away as soon as you drive it off the court the, the, the if you want to turn around and sell it to your mate and you bought it for 20 grand they're not spent they're, you know t- four grand of that was 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 that you know it's like the um so straight away you've lost that so like if you kind of think about things kind of in in terms of in, it, it, the yacht example is ridiculous you know because a lot of people have yachts and they do this thing and it's and it is that like the like the sports package where you hope your mates will come around i mean i've known people that have bought yachts and they did it they bought it they went on a holiday like they sailed from from the south of england to amsterdam for the weekend with their family back in 2016 and they've been paying out a grand a month to park the thing at a marina ever since and it, it and it does start to get that feeling of like you know like wrapping your christmas tree up in the paper to put it away to save it for you know and not to ridicule people for emotional stuff because this is this is we're human beings this is basically our day-to-day how we get by in the world yeah. is is one emotional decision to the next emotional decision because the decisions we don't have any emotion involved they're not really decisions at all that's just like you just you just do it so the so so you know that's that's not to diminish that in any way but just to acknowledge and to realize that uh in terms of like uh in terms of in terms of doing what tony's talking about here uh, with like credit etc it doesn't mean just go out and willy-nilly it doesn't mean like get a credit card then get netflix and spotify and amazon prime and apple music and apple tv and disney plus spotify, all yeah. at the same time all in your credit card just to be able to pay it off you know that's not what he's mm-hmm. talking about <laughs> no. but he's talking about if you were already going to the supermarket every week and spending 150 quid on on groceries and you're doing that through your debit card you do it through your credit card Dang you it. spend um what 600 quid that month on on groceries you were always going to spend anyway you put it through your credit card it gets you a benefit at the end of the day and as well you can get a credit card probably that's got like a cash back built into it you know like santander's one two three credit card for example or whatever yeah. you're getting three percent cash back on certain purchases which otherwise wouldn't be you're pre- protected and just like and these types of ideas it's like it's they're really smart so in the uk for example you can sign up to things like Stephen lewis's money savings expert website yeah. where you'll get bulletins sent out to you telling you these sorts of things and um and and people kind of generally speaking know that they should or could do these things but they don't and with the greatest amount of of sympathy that I, in the world i totally understand the emotional friction that goes on with having to kind of do this this administration in your own financial life uh, and how little you actually want to do it but the benefits are there um and i think we and, and we all kind of know it as well so it's maybe worth pointing that out not for not to not in a not in a, in a really profound way because like i say we already know it. it's just a quick reminder to people as we're thinking along the lines of here of like how can i how can i do things that'll have long-term success for me there was something else yeah. that i noticed by the way in the chat as we were as we were chatting cool. there um tony where apple blossom was saying that they they're actually seem to be coming up with these ideas 
um, at the minute to use your credit rating to, te- to determine your car insurance cost. I mean, can you yeah. imagine that, Tony? Like, it, it's, it makes so much sense in the sense that that's the way the world seems this, to work all the time. Yeah, but also, this, but, but also at the same time, having a shit credit score doesn't mean you're any more likely to crash a car. No. It's just that it's, what it does mean, though, is that the companies out there that look at this information are able to say, you're a victim and we're going to victimize you yes. because they can see what your credit score is. And so is, you just stay on the yeah. right side of everything. This, this is why, why I, I, I mean, they, they call it a credit card, card because it gives you credit, credit right? They, you know, it's, they're, they're crediting you money, and I understand that. But if you change your mentality to think of it as being a credit card, you know, you're in credit. Um, well, that's the way that you've got to view it, is that if I buy everything on my credit card, then all of these other areas of life, whether it's interest rates getting better, car insurance is getting better, being insured on the television that you're going to buy or making sure that you can take your car back because you bought it on your credit card. There's so many areas where you would be um, better off by buying these things on on credit. Um, but mm-hmm. like to kind of capsulize what you were saying there, Rocky, is that we all live to our means. If our means is that we've only got a couple of hundred bucks coming in a month, then, um, then uh, you know, uh, having a Spotify account and an Apple Music account um, is kind of a waste of money because you, you only really need one. Uh, or yeah. having Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Now TV. Uh, you know, you don't need all those, along with a sports package and everything. Um, that, that's like for, for for people of every 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 uh, kind of who live to their means in on all of it, but. And then the other extreme, what Rocky was talking about, is those that have the yachts, people that have got money to burn and everything. Yes, they do have money to burn, but even they, at times, if you were really close friends to them and say, hey, I know you're a millionaire, is there any chance that I can borrow a thousand pound and I'll pay you back in a couple of weeks? Even they, at times, even though they're multimillionaires, will be able to turn around, will turn around and say, I'm really sorry, at the minute, I can't afford it. Because they live to their means. It's common. Every it's so. It's their, in fact. Their... Go on. Well, it's just it's just in fact that you'll see that you'll see that so commonly amongst wealthy people, mm. and uh, and so often if you go to somebody that maybe only has a, a really ba- board, basic income and ask them, they'll they'll say yes because they're so super thrifty, and it's like the uh, and that they have that they have and and some you know quite often the the, the less fortunate people are the most generous people out there but at the same time just that point that you're making so very true that if you go to somebody that's got that's got a lot of money a lot of people with lots of money so to speak don't like having their money in cash Mm. you know and they have it tied up in so many different things but they're still having to work on a sort of cash flow basis just from month to month to be able to pay their bills etc they need something Mm. yeah so like you've got nothing you've got nothing free though essentially when you think what you do is you kind of like make sure you've got enough money to pay your outgoings and then and the rest of it you just try as hard as you can not to think about and um to, to, to sort of and uh and and like so so these things do happen where where you would like to be able to turn around to somebody and say yeah i've got your back i've got you covered or whatever and or or you know anything i mean the thing is it's like we do these things and then we do them for immediate gratification now really essentially no matter what our income level is we're doing them for immediate gratification now and if you think about it in terms of like well i don't need to have spotify etc right now because in six months or a year's time I'll, I'll have more money off the back of having had that money you know be able to leverage that money in a better way or indeed if you are like really wealthy you'll see a charity drive when the next inevitable yeah. earthquake happens and you'll look at it and you'll think I really wish I had 20 grand to send to that. I really do genuinely wish I have it, but I don't because I'm actually a crap human being that spends money on four different gym memberships yes. you know, or whatever. And that's yeah. the sort of thing that happens, you know, and it's like, sort it out, man. Um, you'll feel happier in your own life if you're kind of aware of, of what you're doing and you, and you, and you, only spend stuff on stuff you money on stuff you actually want to spend it on and then take the rest of that money and just give it to charity you'll mm-hmm. actually feel happier um so but if you're in america that's probably not the best advice in a sense that you can claim back you know bad investments um where you where you failed investments as deductibles against your income tax rate you know which is something that we don't have quite as much uh, scope with in the uk 
So you probably, you know, in a sense in America, you can kind of like manage your own income a little bit better just by having failed attempts at the stock market. You know, it's mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Whereas over here, we've got other benefits. Like if you are playing on the stock market, you can do things like spread betting which has got no tax implications for you. It's a tax-free trading, essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas, you know, that's not an option in America. So again, you know, looking at, look, trying to find out what is available to you is as much a part of, of, of doing that process as kind of being willing to enter the conversation and look at what's about there and, and think about these things and just have it as part of your life that you would think about them. And then you're picking up these ideas over time and then you, and you implement them into your own life without too much friction um so just being engaged and thinking about it is really really kind of important it's like a a big step as opposed to just kind of going along just casually going along where so long as your net you know because what most people do is they think about their net at the end of the month you know and they know they've got expenditure but they don't know what it is it's their mortgage it's their it's their car payments it's their fuel it's the food they eat at lunchtime it's the shopping it's the clothes and and then they go, get to the end of the month and they see that they're still in it they've still got a positive balance like oh great great i ended the month 500 dollars up that's good i'm obviously living correctly and that's not really it you know it's kind of mm-hmm. like well actually maybe you could have ended that month up 750 dollars, and maybe by the end of the year you had an extra three grand yeah. and maybe you took your family on holiday and and there's a guy that's going on holiday with his family and there's a guy who thinks that he's happy now and he's sacrificing so much down the down the yeah. line because he's not thinking about things properly there's, there's a, a there's, there's a, a way, way of thinking, thinking on this. Or no matter what level, you know, just just no matter what level your income is, because it happens to all of us. That's the thing. It's like just being reminded. Smart, um, smart, smart people um, are often really dumb with money, you know, and kind and generous people are often um, are often proactively a little bit harsher with their money mm-hmm. in order to choose where they can be kind and generous right. at certain times. You know, yeah. it's like, like some people nerd. think some people <laughs> think they're generous. But they're buying everybody drinks at the pub yeah. and it's like you're not really generous mate you're being used by people around you you know it's mm. not you know so That's so like no but you know what i mean man yeah, it's kind of like it's like we convince ourselves that we're doing the right thing and then we keep doing it for years and 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 when i talk about like when we're talking here and i say oh, that could be 200 bucks in the month it's that's never really what it is it's kind of more like before you know it two or three years will have gone by you know we're having this conversation now but two or three years will go by right. and then right. when yeah. that's happened you'll look back and think i could have just done these simple things differently yeah. and that's really kind of what i'm getting at it's the bigger and that, the you bigger know that thing. idea that we throw about about dollar cost averaging you know buying something on a, on a regular basis whether it's gme shares or a bit of bitcoin or whatever if um if you can implement these small amounts of money um uh, let's say it's only 50 bucks a month that you manage to save by not getting the chocolate at the, test, at the um, petrol station by not having the subscriptions that you don't really need and stuff if you can t- tailor all of them down to like 50 bucks a month but put them in a, a separate area now i know this seems long and it seems like Ooh, can't be doing that no, i'm not interested in that it's just too much aggro I can't be doing that. right if you've got that attitude try and snap out of it because there's more value to doing that than you think because if you can take that money and instead of spending it stop smoking stop drinking whatever your um whatever your whatever has your in their grip you know whatever what's that the vice whatever your vice is if you can all got them we've all got vices if you can stick that into uh something that is positive like um a cryptocurrency that you really believe in uh, like uh, maybe it's GME that you really believe in or an AMC, whatever it might be, whatever your favourite, to something that you're convinced is going to do really well, Amazon, whatever it might be. Um, knowing you like it'll be GME, but stick it into that because it's, it's dead money. It's money that you don't really need. So when they say don't put in more than you can afford to lose, well, if you're putting that money into your gut or into your eyes and it's just entertainment that you don't use, then that is money afford to lose because you are losing it. Um, well, stick that yeah. into something that's something that's something that people don't think about. Yeah, and, and then not only that, it's yes, like okay, it'll when go you've to spent GME. your money, yeah, Sorry, like well, just when you've spent your money, it's lost, you know, it? or, or whatever it is. Yeah, there's so, very few things that are actually investments. Um, <laughs> you know, very few. Like 
like Star Wars toys still in their original packaging or whatever is something that some people have, but hardly anybody that we're talking to is like going to be really thinking along those lines. It's more like um, if you if you're spending money on on crap that you don't need to and you do it all the time, then you can do that in an investment way and it, and and it actually is an investment even yeah. if that investment goes down a wee bit, um, because over time you're still talking about go dollar cost averaging. You're eating that cake. cake. <laughs> Do you know exactly, what I mean? man. Well, You're eating that. Yeah. And, but, but the thing, thing is, is yeah. it's exponential almost. Yeah. I mean, it's not quite, I mean, it's, it's even more than exponential in some cases, is that you can you can stick that money into something. Um, like if you'd have done that 10 years ago into Bitcoin, uh, then your 50 quid, your 100 quid a month or whatever, uh, or bucks, uh, would now be worth, you know, hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds, millions in the case yeah. of Bitcoin 10 years ago. Um, and, and it's the same uh, with it's the same with Apple, you know, yeah. or Microsoft. Yeah, you just go I mean, to obviously there could always be big. It's it's good to have it's good to have um, dry powder though as well. I mean, if you do have cash, you can, can you can think of that as being like dry uh, dry powder, just as a phrase that comes from keeping so your powder don't, dry. Don't so, that when you're... <laughs> <Go on. laughs> so when you load your when you load your musket back in the day you've got some dry powder instead of you know so you've got you so you're able to shoot when the time's right mm -hmm. so you so it's, it's good to keep some of your money ready Definitely. you know and uh, for opportunities uh to assign that and to and to and to keep you know something there where you're like hey look um i've got this i i could spend it now or i could spend it later it's also a good idea to do things like to do things like dollar cost averaging or or whatever you know like if you are going to have a hobby and you're collecting things it could be that you're collecting things that have you know easier to kind of collect value like nfts for example this non-fungible token is is easier i think to imagine keeping a hold of one of those things for a lot longer mm. than it is to keep a hold of a piece of paper you know the actual car, like pokemon cards from the 90s like they're quite hard you know like and that's obviously as in a sense to their value in a way or whatever this this thing but um but like you know nfts are quite cool so um one of our friends navin ethan loves an nft and uh, and would, would put money into nba because he loves basketball and nba started their nft thing so he's behind these basketball cards you know and they were worth very little to begin with and then there was a big rise in the popularity of nfts with um nba um maybe partly fueled with the with the fact that these guys that were going to watch the matches no longer could and they could get this contact with the sport that they love through nfts it during the lockdown yeah. i mean maybe it was a perfect storm but the value of these things that he was buying just rocketed just ro like you know, rocketed so he's getting them for like a couple of bucks and then selling them six months later for 50 bucks you know um and and it was just like you know something that he was doing kind of slightly for fun that enabled him to actually transform his life mm completely Absolutely. so um so so there's there's fun and then there's fun you know um it's not like i'm saying to everybody out there become a collector of something it's not at all um because i collect very little myself it's just along the lines of of thinking about what it is that you're spending your money on because buying that cake and buying uh, a bunch of pints and whatever it's like you can just buy like one less cake and you know, instead of drinking six pints at the at the pub, you drink four pints at the pub. You're still having pretty much the same good time, and there you go. That's an extra twenty quid in your back pocket. You that do that four or five times throughout the month. That's an extra hundred quid in your back pocket, and a hundred quid is you halfway towards more than halfway towards a GME share at the minute, for example, or whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever. You know, so a um, hundred quid's worth of of uh, Bitcoin or whatever. A hundred Algorand tokens you know so these sorts of things and and if you are getting into crypto as well by the way as it happens or any of these then look at the what the what it does too because like uh with algorand for instance you get given constantly get given um interest payments on in your, into your account and obviously interest and payments increases the supply which has an inflationary impact and blah 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 so you can over time learn the economics of these things and what it really means you know, in terms of what all the imp economic impact of interest and inflation, et cetera, blah, 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 has on your particular, your particular savings. But when you take something that is expendable, uh, disposable income, and you change it into savings as instead, then you're, you're benefiting your future self, even if the value of those savings drops 
compared to just simply spending that money on frivolous things that you're never going to use. So those sorts of those sorts of things are like are would would be like big big um, hits, you know, not guaranteed at all by any means. But this type of mentality is often what separates somebody who has achieved a good deal of financial success versus somebody who hasn't is luck oftentimes and and how do you get luck well you kind of have to make your own luck you kind of you know that have to be in it to win it type of thing so the guys that invested in in cryptocurrencies that skyrocketed and then made loads of money were lucky but they were making themselves lucky by taking that by opportunity while by the rest of us it. were out at the mm. pub yeah yeah and the re- while the rest of us were out at the pub getting pissed um you know living on that day so they deserve that success, but by the same token, it's it's obviously been lucky, and but they've made themselves lucky. And it's like thinking about it from that point of view is that you don't need to resent the lucky people out there that are already doing it. Instead, you should be inspired by inspired by the by what they've achieved and knowing that these opportunities never really go away. That there's always going to be more. It's not that you've missed out on your tiny unique angle. That if you'd have just done something else six years earlier then that would have been it for you it's like no that Mm. these opportunities will keep coming along and that you'll get one at some point in your life if you're just always there being ready a little bit of dry powder a little bit of investing here and there a little bit of being frivolous about about things that you don't you know a little bit of being thrifty where 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 you otherwise were frivolous uh thinking about your credit score this is what i was saying about that that yawning about about if you're listening to this thinking it's this is all this is all the really simple stuff that that i don't really can't be bothered to do just for the sake of you know 40 50 quid or bucks a month it's just not not worth it i'm not really that i like listening to tony and rocky and this is cool but now i can't be bothered i can't be bothered it's this is what i'm trying to get across to you guys is it's not 40 or 50 pound a month or bucks a month if you look on the charts here just uh i don't know if you can see it but um if i just bring that to let's get it and i'll show you why it's not 50 quid a month or 50 bucks a month is because if i bring him to um can you see no you can't i'm trying to shrink this down in a sec let's get it so you guys can see it i'm trying to get him in the corner you know when you try and there we go right so if i bring him a little bit of shifting around and bring him to come on there we go right so if you'd have bought right here i'm just talking about gme because i know you guys are into gme right if you'd have bought gme here this is the 11th of january uh and it's 50 bucks because it's just 50 bucks and that nah, can't be bothered it's too much effort for 50 bucks right if let's get the ruler right 50 bucks just here and then we move to GME where it went up to. It went up 2,000, about 2,500%. 2,500% of your 50 bucks. And that was this year, right? On one month of your 50 bucks. But then if you'd have done that every month, 50 bucks, another month would have taken you to 11th of January. 11th of february would have taken you down here so you'd have bought low again that's another 50 bucks where it would have gone up you know a thousand percent or whatever and you keep doing that and your 50 bucks isn't 50 bucks it's more like you know thousands over the course of months you're talking making thousands of bucks which will increase your wages from whatever your wages are let's say i'm just going to use a round figure of twenty thousand dollars a year just a round figure it will move your twenty thousand dollars a year to thirty thousand dollars a year just because of i can't be bothered uh, you know if i want to buy a mars bar and a drink at the petrol station you know all these little bits and the subscriptions to things they all mean potentially especially if you diversify it not just on gme but a bit on gme a bit on bitcoin a bit on amazon a bit on you know facebook or whatever some of the top um, s and 500 are in top uh, you know 20 30 crypto market cap coins or whatever um you start diversifying and buying those things then certainly in three five years time you're going to have a bag of hundreds of potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars 
um, just because of not eating the Mars bar and the chocolate bar regularly at the, at the, uh, the place, not drinking regularly, quitting smoking, uh, not having your subscriptions and things. So this... Mm. Well, I mean, that's it. Time, that's it, Tony. You have a house made out, and you, you loan it with no mortgage because you've invested Absolutely. in something that goes up exponentially, especially with the inflation that's about to happen more than likely because of the stimulus money that's been printed off worldwide, globally, and uh, not just in the US. So it's massive. It's not. It's not just. I can't be bothered to do that. It doesn't. It's not really going to affect me. You know, it means a lot. But you have to save it instead of buying it. And you have to put it in each month into a diversified portfolio. It's really important, guys. This makes the difference. It's, it's, it's not little. It's big. And it will have a massive impact. Be patient. Money goes to the patient. I say that in all my videos. Well, that's the thing is, is that... Okay. Well, it's just that you were saying there that if you, if, it's, that if you stop buying this Mars bar now, then it's a house later. And it totally could be. But it could also just be free Mars bars for life, you know, yeah. in a sense that if you're able to free up enough of this, if you're able to invest well enough now, a year or two goes by, then the income from that investment could be enough to cover that. Mm -hmm. So so if you give up having a Starbucks every morning, if you do if you're going out every morning having a Starbucks, maybe in a couple of years' time, you're getting a free Starbucks every morning because of it. You know, and it's mm -hmm. it's it's like and that's no longer a burden on you. And things like um debt, you know, if you're in debt at the minute and you're having to pay off the interest on that debt every month and you're never paying down the interest i mean things like a maxed out overdraft account in the uk for say five grand will probably cost you something like three or four hundred pounds a month in terms of your interest payments on it because it's mm -hmm. that high well obviously you know the math speaks for itself there by the end of the year you'd have had paid that off entirely yeah. If you, you know, so if you've paid off that debt and you're and you're only covering the interest payments, so that's the way it is for so many people in the UK that are on the on the poverty line. Lipsy that they're that they're they're, yeah. You pay you pay you live in your means, but you pay, if you pay off that, and you're and you're currently paying two hundred dollars or two hundred pounds a month just for the interest, or three hundred pounds a month just for the interest, then what you're doing is you're giving yourself three hundred pounds a month you know by having not had that debt mm. because that money is going nowhere it's going into nothing so if you if you pay that off completely and you focus on it and then you take that 200 300 pound a month that's that is a that was like a couple of that. shares or a mm. yeah or or it's or it's however much of whatever crypto or whatever commodities futures contract or options that you want to have you know if you spend 200 pound a month and uh on paying the interest of some debt that you've got that could be two hundred pound a month that you're just putting into an option, which yeah. even if, even if you've got a hit rate of less than one in twelve, you'll can be you, better off. Can you imagine doing you know, that? By the end a month, of the, going to the cash point, taking out two hundred bucks, literally, and just chucking and it, putting it into the toilet, and then pressing the flush. And if they float to the that's top, what that is. actually getting the brush and putting the putting the toilet, putting the money into the toilet, so it definitely goes away, never to be seen again. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. That's what that is. That's it exactly is. what that is. And the alternative could be two hundred pound a month going into a savings account. Even you know, and like this is one of the worst ways to save is to simply take your money and stick it at your local bank in a in a in a savings, yeah. just your standard off the shelf. It's not very good, but no. I tell you, you know, it's, it's so much it. better than taking that money, setting it on fire, stuffing it down the toilet, and flushing it away. I mean, it's better than that by a massive amount. So, um thinking about these things and like i mean and it's the sort of thing that we obviously all kind of know because we're not like you know nobody out there is stupid but thinking about these things it's like it makes a big difference in in people's lives it can be transformative when they know that that's an option for them i think i might do a um, obviously for the future on um on stable coins and how stable coins um instead of using financial uh using the bank to save your money how yeah putting it into a stable coin and leaving it in a high interest uh, uh, return account. Um, I don't think the majority of the public understand what stable coins are and why putting your money into a stable coin is better than putting it into the bank. You know, the interest rate. Difference. Well, for instance, so you know, a, a just at the minute, that. at the minute you can get over 10% per mm -hmm. year interest on a stable coin, yeah. over 10% a year. And like, just from a sort of simple sort of investment type idea, um, at the minute, you know, if you were looking at a, a fund achieving eight percent year on year growth, you'd consider that to be a very good one. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at that and thinking, well, it can it can only do that 
if the companies perform well within it and the demand etc is from and the speculative demand and everything else the supply and demand is all there to make that go up versus taking your money shoving it in cash which you can get access to any time into some of these these uh, savings accounts through DeFi, etc you could be looking at getting more than that anyway just on interest and never having to think about it so for sure there's for sure tony you probably should do that i think mm -hmm. what i'll do by the way now as we're talking is i'll set my my video for when i go because i'll be going on before the markets open up live yeah, and it's course. quarter past it's quarter past at the minute so yeah i'll be going there before the markets open up so i'll schedule that so that everybody's got it cool. and we can um you know just chat it out till the till 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 that kind of till, till that comes around all right um i heard, I heard another chime a minute ago so i think somebody might have done something um so oh wow i'm not a cat hey hopefully this time brother um when i roll the credits your name will come up because i missed it last time i'm really grateful for that buddy so yeah thank you uh nice uh so yeah really and, uh, also we got clemens well that has subscribed so two subscribers i wonder if people that's lovely wonder if people much. would hit like can you can you oh, hit yeah. like anybody Don't watching you know, just, you, know you might not have thought to would be good yeah, yeah. I haven't, I haven't thought, thought to ask to ask everybody, but obviously I want to appear to a greater audience as possible, and obviously the like button enables Google and uh, YouTube to kind of put the information out there for people to come across. And uh, yeah, I like to think that the information I give out to everybody has a lot of value, um, as Rocky's does. So yeah, um, which brought me really on to the last thing that I wanted to talk about today was personality types, which I've mentioned in the past. Um, and that is that if you are not a patient person, that maybe you're a little bit um, uh, impetuous or you, um, yeah, impetuous, I suppose, is the opposite to patience, isn't it? Impatience. If you're not, if you're not patient, then you're impetuous. Uh, if you're that type of personality, then trading um, isn't something that you should be doing. You need to be someone who can keep your emotions in check and not be impetuous. So, so that when you come, come to make a decision, it's a thought out um, decision, maybe something you've even thought about before you make the decision, say, I'm gonna buy this, and if the money comes to, if it goes down to this point here, I'm taking it out. Um, or, you know, when it goes to this point, I'm taking it out, and have it written down and actually take it out. Um, and another thing is like, if you're impatient, you might have some of what Rocky referred to as being uh, like dust if you've got some money or some powder if you've got some money to one side that you want to invest in something let's say you get some inheritance or you've just sold a car or a bike or something and you've got some money and you think well i really want to get into um i don't know algorand right so you just buy algorand straight out well algorand might be on a downtrend and it's blatantly obvious that it's you know heading down to the you know a fibonacci line of some sort or whatever if you just waited and he keep that dust there, that powder there, ready for when it does end up hitting that point and then buy, then you're not going to be thinking, oh no, it's going down even further because you'd have hopefully bought at the bottom. And if you haven't bought at the bottom, at least it's a, you've bought a lot further to the bottom than you would have done if you just facetiously and spontaneously just bought in. Yeah. And, um, yes. It's patience pays, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. It really does in so many areas of life. It's not just trading. It's so many areas. Just not. be patient instead of just jumping in. Yeah. And I said it's, that it's, trading it's, will it's teach you patience. It will teach you patience. It's because, the same, yeah. Yeah, because you, you don't have an endless pot of money. It's not endless. It's, it's, it's like you will get wiped out and you will lose and then you'll have to wait until you get some more money later on. So if you're not patient now and you carry on trading, you will... It will teach you patience. It doesn't wait for you. It's it's the boss. Trading is the boss. You're not the boss. So if you're, yeah. if you're impatient, so yeah. But yeah, that's a big time, one, right? Tony. Man, it's a mm. big one. So like that sort of the idea of being able to like dollar cost average or scale into positions, etc. Like those are good solid ideas. But also the idea of um, the idea of like if you already have some capital there that you're willing to be patient to to be patient because uh, nobody can really predict the future and just being patient as a rule of thumb will open up a lot of opportunities for you. Yeah, it yeah. might not be that, you know, for, for somebody who sat there with cash right this minute, it might not be that being patient is the decision, you know, and like you could look back and think, gosh, 
if only that person hadn't advised me to be patient, I'd be better off now. But that's <laughs> such a tiny, yeah. that is so small compared to the amount of times, you know, yeah. that's so small, you it know, is. the, uh, the, yeah, you're, you're generally speaking, <laughs> statistically average chance is you're going to be better off being patient yeah. for anything in life, you know, almost it, anything. It um, obviously massive, you want to strike yeah. while the air is hot, take opportunities when you, when they arise, definitely but also only fools rush in you know yeah. so it's a bit of balance between <laughs> that you know start singing, singing together. together only fools I know, right? rush in <laughs> but i can yeah <laughs> and it's good it's good to it's good to bear that in mind that you you, you know you want to be ready and it's like if you've been patient for a while already up to this point then you're going to be ready when the opportunities present themselves it's like mm-hmm. it's very hard for somebody who's already like 100 miles an hour down the lack of patience road for them to pivot and become somebody that's patient is um as extremely yeah, painful it's almost impossible. that's it's understandable yeah so it's like just working towards that is probably the, the 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 goal and like kind of starting off by thinking about like all the different opportunities that you have mm-hmm. to work towards being patient because your future self is going to thank you you know the 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 rocky this time next year and the tony this time next year will turn around and say thank you to the current versions of us here yeah i was going to say that is is, is, that's really really powerful i know time's getting on but guys if you can get this mentality of will will the tony now or whoever you are will the tony now thank future tony or will he go for Oh, Tony, why did you do that? Because now I'm saying to myself as I'm sat in this house, um, I bought this house about 18 months, two years ago. And because obviously the house prices have gone up and we've had this major thing, I'm like, thanks, Tony. Ace, you did really well there. And I'm sat in this house now. I'm well happy. Yeah, so I'm thanking myself. But, um, you know, I did a bit of speeding at the A4 you know, the, the road that goes past my house uh, a little while ago and I got pulled over by the police and now I'm, I'm like, for goodness sake, Tony, why don't you, why, why don't you just, you know, go to the speed limit? And now I've, now I've got to go to court and try and tell the judge and try and somehow uh, explain to them that, you know, I wasn't like intentionally speeding. I was just, just driving, the, you know, just the way that I thought that it was okay. But I'm not, I'm actually not thanking myself. So I'm now today kind of angry with myself uh, for about three months ago but I'm thanking myself for something that I did a, a few years ago. So be the person when you're making a decision and say to yourself, is future me, is is future Apple Blossom or future Eddie or future FU Money or a future trade spine, whatever, are, are they going to thank me later on for the decision that I'm about to make now? Or are they going to stress at me and be upset with me? And if you could always think like that and say the future me is going to thank me if you every decision you make, you're always thinking about the future you, then when you retire, you're gonna be well happy. <laughs> That's it, Tony. I, I see I see by the way, I see from I am not a cat in the chat there, a good message coming in saying Go on. so stable coins seems like a good stream topic. I'd also like to hear about position management, how much to put in, how many positions at once, when to take profits, mm. etc. At Tony Wright and Rocky Outcrop, and maybe then that is a topic for us or, or, or a few topics for us to discuss in another one of these episodes yeah. down well, the line i've, I've got, got a list here because i'm just about to wrap it up if that's if that's okay with you as well is um is one of the last things that i wanted to uh, talk about today but we haven't got time and i was thinking perhaps we could do it on on another stream perhaps on your on your um on your side of things is talking about um is talking about that other topic um, what was it, buddy? Uh, so I want to talk about. Oh, I had it written down there. Um, credit, personal uh, spending to division. Um, oh man. Yeah, what no. We t- the, what we talked about beforehand. Yeah. It'll come back, but I want you to. But it would be good to be able to tell people what it yeah. was. But I can't remember. My... Oh, there was something <laughs> else. Oh, killing, killing me. me. If, if it comes, comes back, back in a minute, minute, then I'll I'll say it. But uh, yeah, yeah, you've got, got what? You got seven, seven minutes, minutes before your start, start, buddy. And I, I guess, guess you want to do it. Little yeah, so I'll be. Yeah, I'll head off. I'll head off in like one minute from here. Yeah, and gives me time to make a cup of tea, and then uh, yeah. All right. 
Um, okay, okay, guys. So, yeah, thank, thank you very much. much. Remind me, Rocky, don't let me end without pressing the credits button because um, All right. I want to make sure that uh, people get a shout out because, yeah, it's important. It's important. But just in case, Apple has donated to the stream. So thank you very much, Apple. We've got Waxin Konomi has subscribed. Christy uh, has subscribed. Thank you, guys, very much. Uh, I'm not cats have uh, given us a donation. It looks like a super chat. It says love in the chat. How do you manage your positions in normal trading? How do you? Is this the one that you mentioned earlier? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you manage your positions? Oh, yeah, that was the one. Okay. Listen, guys. Should you use a credit card or a loan in order to buy crypto? That was the one. That was the question. If you've got a credit card, should you be getting into debt for it in order to buy Bitcoin? Because if we're sure that Bitcoin... It's a whole is discussion topic. Absolutely. And that's what I wanted to chat about on the next one that we do with you, Rocky, if that's okay. So we'll do that. It, it absolutely also, is. Yeah. Brilliant. That was the one. That was the... <laughs> I was hoping that I'd remember. Man, I've lost my... I've lost, I've lost my SIM card from my phone. I got a new SIM card delivered. It popped out my old one, and I've lost it. And I've got this uh, parquet floor in here, and I suspect it's gone between two of the um, two. It's gone oh, between it's the between. Two of woods. Yeah, and I don't know. <laughs> the, it's the, gone the, basically. It's it, gone. It's gone I, think, I think it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's it's in. It's gone. So, uh, so I'm looking around me, thinking, hmm. And, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tony, roll it. Roll the credits, Tony. Man, I'm gonna roll these credits. Can, can, uh, this is the first time I press this credit button. Let's see what happens. Uh, I've got no, I've got no music yet, guys. Oh, go. It may not show up on your. Have you got the credits? Have you added a added a thing to, to OBS for the credits to be in? Uh, let's have a look. All right, hang on a minute. Let's bring those back. Uh, add. You have to add a source and choose add credits source. or something. I think. Hang on a second. Credits. Um, right, credits. Here we go. Add source. Um, add source. There we go. Credits are added. So, what do I do now? Is that working? I don't see credits coming out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this would be such a shame if it doesn't work. How do I get credits working? Right, credits is at the top of sources. Um, do I double click it or? Huh. Well, if it's on your screen and it's at the top, it should be visible. Just hit roll credits again. Maybe that'll do it. Uh, right click. Do a right click. Okay. Hang on a sec. Scene. Roll credit. I don't know how to roll them, but we don't have to press. <laughs> it's at the top. Okay. Hang on a sec. Oh, it should have been there for me and you. If I go to credits... And bring credits to the top. Mm hmm. Right, here we go. How about that? Is it working? Um, done. That's everything. It should be there. I don't know. You guys can't see it, I guess. So let's go to credit screen. All right, let's try this. They're not no. going to believe you're grateful, Tony. I know. They're going to think you take really over for credit. They do. I mean, it's really important. I know. They're going to think they're going to think you don't care about them, Tony. That's, That's what sauce. it is. No, I definitely care. Stop, Stop saying that, Rocky. That's, That's not fair. fair. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is, is that, that working? working? It's not working, is it? Why isn't it working? Oh, come on. <laughs> Guys, listen. I do care. You you all mean very much to me. Um. No, no, don't, don't want to move my jar. No, this needs to work. It can't not work. Scene. And Tony, I'm going to have to go though, man. Go on, I'm going go, to have to go. I'll leave you. <laughs> I'll leave you to. I'll leave you to struggle with the credits. And yeah. We'll get set up for my stream. You, you get Tony, sorted. it's been a pleasure. It always Thank is. You. It, it, it always. <laughs> we've had a lot. We had a lot of technical teasing issues obviously at the start of this thing but it's 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 just you know starting out yeah. with the collab thing man but so um, it next time it'll be a lot smoother Definitely. yeah yeah everything's been good i've enjoyed it as Me well too. so i always enjoy spending time with you tony 
um, because you are just that nice guy. I think you're one of these, um, what do they call it in, in computer programming these days? W-S-I-G-W-T. You're a what you see is what you get guy, really, with you, Tony, man. And um, and I think that that's something which is uh, well, certainly something that I appreciate. I think it's refreshing in the world that we live in these days to mm-hmm. be able to kind of rely on 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 the person you see is the person that you get you know there's no there's no uh there's no bullshit with you mate nice. really appreciate it thank love you, being here with you we'll be back again soon but i'm going to hit this i'm going to hit the i'm going to hit on my end a cheerio button so it's just cheerio for me just now <laughs> all right mate cool uh yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you again, again buddy. Buddy. and really nice to have you speak to you on the next one hopefully um, totally brilliant man. <laughs> all right so guys uh, as rocky starts to do that um i will do my very best to try and get these sorted out um and when rocky goes live uh oh whoa that's a different look i think that's probably about how i look right okay so let's get this credit screen sorted out so that's the credits button um that's at the top so what do i do it's got to be a button right click um no uh, credits right let's right click on that let's see what happens. Could... is someone, someone telling me in the chat everyone's saying goodbye to rocky which is nice uh, still here everyone's still here that's nice they, everybody who's donated in some way shape or form just stick around because i want you to see your name it's important to me this is like, it's like a real moment especially for uh well for all of you okay well, let's have a look right credits is there double click so there it is manage credits see it's showing me donators and all the rest of it yeah followers subscribers moderators and all the rest of it super chats done so that's there so now how do i apply them apple blossom says the hardest button to button (laughs) make sure the eyeball isn't crossed out no it's not buddy so, and it's at the top so it's at the top of the jar um i'm double clicking and it's coming up with it all like inside the uh um why isn't it working and that's the size and it is at the front so it should um okay let me just let me just move some stuff about this get rid of it do you want to remove credits no so the credits are there i can see them Um, okay, let's remove the alert box. Um, remove. Thank, Thank you for your patience, patience guys. Just stick around. around. Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay, what's this capture box? This is uh, not important, so we'll remove them. Something's not. Something's hiding it, isn't it? Uh, I wonder if it's the hide button. Hide. Uh, remove. Group, transform, uh, center stage man, center on the screen. Okay, okay, that's the that's the. Why is it not working? I don't get it. Okay, okay let's read, read the chat. If someone can help me on it, observe that self Friday. Believe in you, Tony. You got this. Um, I don't know, but then I'll be sure to Google the credits before I get the donate. <laughs> Lol. I have the mic and the desktop source output in or something. Mic and desktop. Okay, so let's, let's get, get rid of some of these. Oh, let's, let's get rid of that one. Uh, remove. Stay with me for a sec, guys. Right. And then we're going to get rid of this one. Uh, I might disappear now. Hang on. Uh, remove. And then all there is now is this one. And if I hit credits, which is there, if I hit credits, how do you roll them? Unlock, go in, uh, manage. Guys, I don't know what to do. Thanks for supporting the screen. Um, they're there. That's, That's it, it, isn't it? Is that it? I don't know what we're doing. So if I move you to there. And press done. Nah. Okay. 
Let's get rid of the jar. You guys are very patient. I know. I'll see you all in the chat in a little while. Um, okay, let's, let's delete that. Um, let us delete stuff. I might disappear for a sec over. Oh, that's one of them gone. There's another one. The jar we can get rid of. Poor jar. He was doing well, but never mind. That's me, which I'm happy to get rid of. I'll see you in a minute. And then audio capture. It's probably why there's a delay, an echo. Uh, done. And then the only thing that's left now. Cancel. Okay. And audio capture, which means that I'll disappear. The only thing that's left now is the credits. So now if I... I don't know, there must be a button that says roll credits. Is there a button that says roll credits? Oh, it's got to be a button down here. Dum, 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 dum. No. Cowbot. No. No. Studio mode. Get help. And I definitely need help. Uh, guys, I'm just so sorry that it's not worked. Um, yeah. Let me just... Uh, Display capture, add source. Okay. Done. You know what, guys? I've got no idea why it's not working. You know? I, um, you know, I just got no idea. So, I'm just got to say, I'm so, so sorry. So, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to have to be you guys. So, I'm just going to have to read it out. Um, okay, so Supernova has subscribed. Thank you very much. I'm really sorry. Uh, Apple has donated, says that she can't wait to learn more about these stable coins. I promise you that the next collaboration that I do with Rocky, I'll go into these things and I'll also mention you again. Uh, Waxing Nomi has subscribed. Thank you so very much. Uh, Christy, uh, Christ, uh, Christy, Christ. Christ, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> sorry, CZ. Uh, I am not a cat, has donated $10 uh, like Apple did, thank you very much. And uh, we've got uh, Clemens Welder subscribed, Tabitha Timbuk2 uh, subscribed, and uh, Simone has donated $5, thank you, a couple of days ago, and so did I, I'm not a cat. Um, yeah, and Andy Goodlad donated some time ago as well. So you guys, thank you so very much. Um, okay, so with that, I'm going to go off and let us all enjoy Rocky's uh, um, video stream. So yeah, I'm going to end chat now and say thank you again so very much. And I'm sorry I don't know how to do this. I will look into it. And um, yeah, so this super chat's been great, guys, and uh, the you know the main 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 live chat. Great stuff. I will see you all in the uh, in, in with Rocky now as I press the exit button. I'm going to go on to Rocky and I'll chat with you all in there. All right, guys.